Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com today explaining how to delete the Git Current and Windows BT folders. You usually can just delete them, sometimes they're locked in place. Uh, I will have in the video description, don't forget to expand it, a link to the article here which explains how to do it and the video will be embedded here when I'm done and the download for the batch file as well. So let's talk about this real quick. They are found right here in C but if you don't have hidden items on you won't see them so if hidden items are on as you can see you can see them here's one of them Windows WS now typically these files are put in place because of Windows Update so before you delete anything go to start settings update and security and verify there isn't an update pending if it's recently checked you should be okay or you can go ahead and click here to check for updates that way you don't download something that Windows Update needs these folders will usually appear after a upgrade or possibly after a feature update which is the larger updates you see a couple times a year so what I can tell you is that yes you can just come over here and right click and delete if you're familiar with disk cleanup, you might be able to remove them with them. But if they're locked, you have to go into PowerShell and run all these commands to get it unlocked before you can delete it, and hence the reason for this batch file. So let's take a look here. Downloads. This is the file you'll download right here. Double click it and extract. And once that's done, just double click it. You get this little message here. Uh oh, run it anyway. Little warning. Go ahead and press enter. I always like the any key joke. Can't find the any key. All done. Press enter again, and our batch file will close for you. Well, let's take a look. C drive. And as you can see, the one folder that I had. The WS Windows WS folder is gone. So that's how to get rid of a couple of them. We'll be doing some more videos on these other folders that you're seeing here. And so how you can delete those when needed. So worst case scenario, of course, just leave it be. You probably have a Windows update pending. It'll probably eventually disappear, I hope. Uh, in most cases, it's not taking up that much space. So if you're not sure, you're not comfortable, just leave it be. It's That's just fine. So there you have it. As always, we thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.